this is a crate. And inside that crate, we have an abundance of radishes. Now the crate itself I got was being thrown out, so I rescued it and made it into a raised bed planter. And on the bottom of it, we put a bunch of sticks and a bunch of lawn refuse and things to make it a, its own ecosystem and filled the top with topsoil and compost to give it a good growing environment. Now part of what we put on the bottom was some marigold. And now we have a plant that's poking out the side and has bloomed and is doing a great job. Now the holes just look like this. They're just a tiny bit of light and some water that came through. It was the only thing to get to it. But it decided to follow the light and come right out and bloom anyway. Even though it's way under all that dirt and inside the crate, it found a way to bloom. This is my onion patch, which has a lot of weeds in it, which we're going to ignore for right now. But if we walk just a little further along, you'll see right there, that's not a weed. It is a carrot. So we planted carrots in this general area, and not many of them sprouted up last year. We've since tilled it under. I've had chickens on top of it and everything. But this year, it's just decided to sprout up right in the middle of all the onions going on there. And these pots, we had some strawberry plants that didn't grow. We got from Walmart. But we have some flowers that were previously planted in there. And they've decided to start trying to come back up again. I was amazed to see those plants growing out of places that you wouldn't necessarily expect them to grow, and in conditions that are not ideal for their growth or productivity, but they were resilient and were able to grow and be productive anyway. It reminded me of the old saying, to bloom where you're planted, and I want to encourage you with this Bible verse. It comes out of Isaiah 43 verses 19 through 21. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The wild beasts will honor me, the jackals and the ostriches. For I give water in the wilderness, rivers in the desert, to give drink to my chosen people, the people whom I formed for myself, that they might declare my praise. Isn't that amazing? Even in the most desert and desolate places where there's no life, God brings new life and new growth and new opportunities and purpose to our situations that may seem completely desert and barren and no opportunity and no hope. If we seek him and seek after him and focus on the right things, he will bring new life and new water to wherever we are. The rest of the passage goes on to say that this is a choice. If we seek to after God and we seek his will and we seek the good things that go along with that, that he will meet us where we are and meet our efforts and let them be productive and give us purpose and growth and let us be fruitful wherever we find ourselves. And maybe that leads to a new situation. However, if we choose to focus only on the negative and we, we don't pursue his wishes and our own sinful desires, then we will continue to find ourselves in a desert place. And that's not where you want to be. But God's faithful when we pursue him. He is faithful to meet us where we are. And he will bring purpose out of death, out of desolation, and will bring growth and fulfillment and purpose. Uh, thank you for watching the video today. I hope that you came away encouraged by it. Give it a like and share it with your friends if you think it might help them.